this testimony, your directive, your performance is shameful. Okay. That's not Th Thank God you are not on the Supreme Court. You that should resign in disgrace, Judge. It is the question. Answer my question. Is it not a high enough priority for you when you're threatening parents with 13 different federal crimes? What they found in that memo, what they heard you say was if you show up and you question these school boards, you will be deemed a domestic terrorist. I have, and the record now shows, one of your U.S. attorneys sending out a letter about federal prosecution investigation and list in detail the federal statutes for which you could be prosecuted. Judge, you've talked a lot about intimidation and harassment. Have you issued a memorandum like your October 4th memorandum about the Black Lives Matters rights from last summer? You're talking about the, the summer of 2020? In the summer of 2020, there a were- A lot of crimes committed. People haven't been- There were a lot of prosecutions, yet. and they were under the previous administration. Okay, Judge, they what about this? You, it is no doubt, you're, 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 even though parents at school boards aren't within federal jurisdiction, there's no doubt that federal officials are. You keep saying senators. Have you started an investigation into the harassment of Senator Kirsten Sinema in a bathroom? In a bathroom, because she won't go along with the Democratic Party's big tax and spend agenda? That is a sitting United States senator being harassed in a bathroom. I don't know whether the senator has referred the matter to the Justice Department or not. You've cited as the basis for that directive the National School Board Association's letter of September 29th. Was that directive being prepared before September 29th, before the School Board Association letter was issued? I don't believe so. Certainly, I didn't have any idea. So it was only prepared to act. Okay, I think that answers the question. I already answered that so, question So you, you keep citing the school board letter and news reports. That's news right. One of the news right. reports cited in that letter, which you presumably mean, is from Loudoun County, Virginia. No, that's Scott, not, that is not um, uh, what I was talking about. Well, talking it, about you keep citing news reports, yeah. and that's the most prominent news report that anyone in America has seen. That refers to Scott Smith, whose 15-year-old daughter was raped. She was raped in a bathroom by a boy wearing girls' clothes, and the Loudoun County School Board covered it up because it would have interfered with their transgendered policy during Pride Month. And that man, Scott Smith, because he went to a school board and tried to defend his daughter's rights, was condemned internationally. Do you apologize to Scott Smith and his 15-year-old daughter, Judge? Senator, anyone who's a uh, child was raped as uh, is a, a most horrific crime I can imagine, and is certainly entitled and protected by the First Amendment to protest to their school board about that. But he was cited is, by the School Board Association that's fine, as a but domestic that's not, terrorist, which we now know that letter and those reports were the basis for your no, this, this no, is Senator, this is that's wrong. Shameful. Judge, that's, this is shameful. This here, this testimony, your directive, your performance is shameful. Okay, that's not. Th thank God you are not on the Supreme Court. You that, should resign in disgrace, Judge. I have to tell you that it is with much disappointment that I have watched the DOJ be so politicized and the way things have been carried out. Uh, when you look at the memo to parents, you've heard a lot about that today and it's because we're hearing a lot about that and I just have to ask you, I, knowing that you really helped bring to justice those that caused the Oklahoma City bombing, would you really honestly put parents in the same category as a Terry Nichols or a Timothy McVeigh? My God, absolutely not. Then why, why would you ever release a memo. I mean, did you write that memo? Did staff write that memo? What would have led you to do this? It is so over the top. Senator, there's nothing in the memo that, uh, that, that in any way draws any comparison, anything like that. This memo is about violence and threats of violence. It's not Sir, I have to tell you that that may be your opinion. And you know, many times perception is reality. And reading that memo myself, Tennesseans reading that memo, what they found in that memo, what they heard you say was if you show up and you question these school boards, you will be deemed 
a domestic terrorist. President Biden recently said in a national town hall that police officers who decline to get vaccinated should be fired. Do you agree with President Biden on that? I, I think all police officers, look, I, I stood on the stage at the, uh, uh, at the um, mall um, where the 700 and some police officers who died this year were commemorated. Let me, let me try again. Do you agree with the president? It's a yes or no. You've asked questions as a judge. You know how to get a yes or no. Do you agree with the president? Yes or no? A large percentage of the law officers who died this year died from COVID-19. Do you agree with President Biden that police officers who declined to get vaccinated should be fired? Yes if, or no? And if they had been vaccinated, they wouldn't have died. So is that a yes? You do agree with the president? Police officer. In Chicago, a third of the police officers did not file their vaccination status. Do you think Chicago should fire fire a third of its police officers when murder rates and crime rates are skyrocketing. This is a determination that the city of Chicago will have to make. So do you agree with the president? The president said yes. Do you agree with him? You are the chief law enforcement officer of the United States. Do you agree with Joe Biden saying fire police officers despite skyrocketing crime rates? That is a question that is a one of state law there and will have to be decided by the state. Y you have no view on whether we should Senator, fire cops? Senator, your time has expired. I haven't seen the memo that you're Why talking about, you? and I don't, I, I, and I, I, even from the description, it doesn't sound like it was addressed to parents. But if you no, it was, wasn't addressed to parents. It was addressed to prosecutors. That's the problem. Why haven't you seen the memo? I, uh, I, I don't know why I haven't. I don't look at every. I have. I do not get every memo that every U.S. attorney uh, sends out. But uh, if you're wait, wait, wait a minute. Don't, don't. I, I, don't, I just want to be sure I understand this. This, this is a memorandum that collects 13 different federal crimes parents could be charged with. It has United States Department of Justice on the top of it. And you're telling me you haven't seen it? Who's the memo from, Senator? The United States Department of Justice, United States Attorney for the District of Montana. I have not seen a memo from the District of Montana. I not high enough priority for you? It's not, that's not the question. I don't. It is I, the question. Answer my question. Is it not a high enough priority for you when you're threatening parents with 13 different federal crimes. I These aren't crimes of violence. You've testified today. You're focused on violence. That's not what your U.S. attorneys, they work for you. That's not what they're saying. You haven't seen it because it's not a high enough priority or not what? Question of priority. No one has sent me that memo, so I haven't seen it. What I do you mean no one has sent you the memo? You run the United States Department of Justice, do you not? There are 115,000 employees of the Department of Justice. Indeed, and you are in charge of every one of them. And, and this was a sufficiently important case that you issued a memo. You, over your signature, issued a memo involving the FBI and the Department of Justice in local school boards, local school districts. Your U.S. attorneys are now threatening prosecution with 13 different crimes, but it's not a high enough priority for you. It got lost in the mix. I'll send again. I've never seen that memo. It was That's what concerns me. me, General Garland. We're clear again, Senator. My memorandum did not list any of those incidents. Come on, General. We both know this had a chilling effect. You don't think there are parents out there in the real world that said, oh, my God, maybe we, we, we shouldn't go to the school board meeting. There'll be FBI agents there. My, my we live in a, this isn't Long Island land. I tried to make clear, as clear as I could, and now I have subsequently made clear in every public statement on the matter. Your, your actions That's made it clear, General. Let me ask you one last question. When men follow a United States senator who happens to be a female into a, a women's room to harass her about her beliefs, why is that just part of the process? as President Biden says. But when a parent goes to a school board meeting to protest that her child is being taught that babies are, can be white supremacists is subject to FBI prosecution. The description that you just gave, that parent is not subject to FBI investigation. And there's nothing in this memorandum that suggests this. We protect United States senators.